what's in the box and why is it on the big project side of the bench? Well, stick with me and I'll explain. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this guy. So I just got this in. I ran across this by accident on Amazon. And like I needed another one, like a hole in the head. This was such a good deal. I couldn't pass it up. Plus, I'm going to do something really, really cool with this. So let's go ahead. Let's get this out of the box and see what's in here. A real maker uses a maker knife. Okay, so we got the box open and hopefully this kind of gives you a little uh, clue as to what's in the box. So let's go ahead and try to get a little bit more of this out of the box. So what we have here is actually a 3018 CNC that I picked up off of Amazon. Now I've got like three other CNC's and like I needed another one of this size. However, the reason I could not turn this down is it was $123. Um, so for $123 to get basically a 12 inch by six inch CNC, and again, you can see the bed size here, which is actually pretty good, pretty reasonable, um, and, and not a bad piece of material at all. I thought it was very interesting and worth experimenting with. Now, the other pieces that I realized in doing some homework about this particular guy uh, is it was pretty flexible in design because it uses, I believe, T8 rods. They're kind of stuck in here. Um, you know, both T8 lead screws and 8 millimeter rods. Now, the interesting thing about this is with this, I could easily, and again, because it uses 2020 extrusion, which is the normal 2020, not the odd kind, I can make this into a 12 by 12 um, CNC pretty easy. So what I actually did is I went out and when I ordered this for an extra of roughly 20 bucks, I picked up some 12 inch um, 8 millimeter rods, as well as in here are some T8 uh, lead screws. 12 inch uh, to actually turn this into a 12 by 12 machine. So for under 150 bucks, I'm picking up a 12 by 12 CNC. Now the spindle setup here isn't too bad if I can get it out of the box. And uh, so it's kind of rather beefy DC motor. It's still a brush DC motor, uh, not the greatest. However, this is all injection molded. Uh, with linear bearings, not those cheap other, you know, bushing type bearings. So I'm really excited about this. Um, you know, so again, I think this is pretty beefy. Now, the other pieces with this is I believe I probably can get a formal spindle to fit in here and maybe do some modifications with it. Uh, but this is really nice compared to uh, my other one of this nature. So I'm really happy with that. The other pieces is it uses these uh, stanchions for extra support. And again, I'll probably make some changes, machine some metal ones out of, on my uh, 3040. And again, um, you know, anti-backlash nut. Again, all injection molded pieces, not 3D printed, which I think is good. Now it does come with some, it looks like these are just uh, simply engraving bits, uh, but, but pretty cool. And uh, it even comes with some kind of light too, to light this up and then, uh, software is on this little bit of jump drive. It's got a typical power brick. Now, the one thing I do like about this is it's got the singular power brick that, that apparently powers both the motor and the electronics. It has a girdle shield in here, uh, which I understand comes with it. It might be in one of these packages. Oh, here it is. Um, so yeah, it's got the girdle shield. Let's go ahead and open this up. Ah, pretty. Now, I like this because it appears to have the uh, PC-less um, sender uh, port here. So you can attach that. I really like that. Now, I'm not sure this obviously has places for the motors and switches. Uh, I'm not sure if it has homing switches on it uh, available or not. 
uh, does connect with mini USB versus the the typical host adapter and I don't see heat sinks for the uh, drivers. I don't know what drivers these are off the top of my head, but I don't see heat sinks for it. And again, unless they're hidden in one of these other packages, I'll have to do a little bit more digging to, to find out. Uh, but oh, it also does come with a collet for the motor, which is really nice versus that little brass nubbing. So I'm pretty excited with all this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do a complete build video on this. Uh, because I don't think it's necessary. However, what I am going to do is do a modification video on this of how I made the modifications because basically, as at least as I see it right now, I'm simply going to have to cut just two extended pieces of 2020 and replace the two 8mm rods and the one 8mm lead screw with my 12 inch ones uh, because these are, you know, six or eight inch ones probably and these are 12. Now, what I'm going to do for the bed, I'm going to use the existing bed. However, I'm going to create a 12 by 12 spoil board to go on top of this. Again, with the smaller motor, I'm really not going to be cutting aluminum, but what I want to set this up to do is I buy a lot of 12 by 12 sheets of acrylic and plastic, and that's what I want to cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a 12 by 12 spoil board to mount to the top of this and then I'm gonna make 3D printed clamps to hold my material down onto this. And again, since most of it is really going to be on this one, uh, 2D or 2.5D operation, I don't have to get it hugely perfect, so that, that's good news. But again, for less than 150 bucks, to be able to have a 12 by 12 uh, CNC blew my mind. So. I don't know if that was a mistake or what it was, but the second I seen that, because the smaller versions of this were actually more money. So I don't know if it was a screw up in Amazon's pricing system, the vendor screwed up in pricing it, but I tell you what, whole kit for an unbelievably low price. So hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Swag Shop's up there. And let me know what you think about modifications to this in the comments below. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.